Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Man the Maker. Welcome back to another episode of Age of Empires is what I kind of wanted to say, but that doesn't make any sense. I haven't played Age of Empires since Age of Empires 2, uh, 20 years ago <laughs> or something. Last episode, we took Beijing. Well, laddie doody da, isn't that nice? That's it feels good. Um, we also, you know, have a much higher score than everybody else, and we turn the difficulty up to deity because we don't want it to just be a stomp, basically. Um, no, last time, yeah, last time when I played, I started on an island with uh, the Aztecs, I think, and I didn't focus on the military enough, or couldn't, or they were stronger, uh, to be able to do what I just did here. So I farmed them for slaves for a very, very long time. Basically, I just kept raiding them, raiding and raiding and raiding and raiding. Um, and I had a, I had established slavery. I had tons and tons and tons of slaves working in all of my cities, as many as I could fit. I, I don't remember the slave mechanics exactly until eventually we did conquer them. Um, and then the game, you know, we were on our continent alone and we got pretty far ahead and then we ended up winning. I hope that doesn't happen this time. I hope the AI gives me more of a challenge, um, but we'll just have to see. All right, you. It is gonna be a stone tools workshop, I think. But uh, probably the best thing we can do is make uh, two more gatherers out of here as well. You're just gonna fortify where you are, as are you. And now we can just kind of go forward with things, boom. Congratulations, citizens. Subduing some animals, that's nice. Um, I can. Do this. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. And take one of you. And say, hey. Go there and let's settle those freaking animals. Uh, the rest of you can go back to sleep. Just settle those animals for me. All right, the storage pit is done. Now I think we're just gonna actually go inside here. Oh no, first up, one, I mean, I guess it's a Neanderthal gatherer. Why, why Neanderthal? Does, does that make them better somehow? One, two, three. Neanderthal Tracker, on the other hand, four strength? Holy crap. Um, no. Now building tab. And then I'm just gonna say, get me all of your freaking production buildings. And I'll be happy with that. Pretty sure I'm already sending a bald eagle, but maybe we can send uh, two. Should be okay. Auto hunting. Why was I not doing that before? Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's why. Somebody said escort your hunters, and I'm like, man, I don't, I can't. I'm not. No. No. I wish. Just go, please. I, I know these people are near you, but. I don't really care that much. Flint gatherer, then you're gonna finish that thing off. Um, another gatherer. You can go and put something over here, and then something over here. Or was it there? Um, do we care about providing llama? I guess so. So I'll, be, I'll throw this thing down. Um, Folklore of the Unicorn is here. There's that Huron culture. I'm kind of tempted to like just go for some culture. 64 turns is a freaking lot though. It's interesting that we don't have access to Neanderthals here. Only in the other city. So I think we're going to make them in the other city. 
And you and my friend are going to make... What, what production buildings do we have? I think it's going to be this, this... We could use a little bit of gold, I guess. And I don't really like bleeding it. Ah. A little water pollution never hurt anybody. Yeah, fine. Then the bone worker. Then we'll we'll reassess things. That'll occupy your time for quite a while. 196 turns. I'm like, you're growing quickly. I mean, I guess that's somewhat relative. Uh, you can come up here. Oh, shit. Are you not going to give me a, a preview? Just one spike clumming and a whole crap. Oh, it's my. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, see, that's what happens. Now, now I got a Neanderthal spike clubman and I'm like afraid of everything. Yeah, give me a scavenger camp. I'm afraid of uh, another gatherer. Okay, that uh, shouldn't actually be happening, but fine. Um, right. Do you share the folklore? Apparently. I mean, I'll go with an animal uh, standard of a bear. Actually, the rest of these, nothing can happen. Neanderthal Axeman? It's a lot of money. Okay, that did nothing. <laughs> Bringing these animals here did nothing. None of them are the suitable type, I suppose. Make me another gatherer. Uh, that's okay. This is grassland. Yeah, sure. Actually, we're going here, aren't we? And I guess I am going to just make a cottage. Lost a bunch of money. But that's okay. Um, and now I've got, like, one too many. I suppose I can just put a stone tools workshop up there for now. Or didn't I kind of... Do I get the money back? No. Alright, fine. I don't know what I'm going to do with that guy. Yeah, you just start getting me some production buildings. Whoa. I'm not quite sure what made that skip things. And I definitely cannot hear what the guy is saying. Um, let's just kind of fill in some back stuff, right? I'm okay to like just do something like this. Conduct is pretty good, getting enforcers. Nice military uh, defensive units that help with crime as well. I don't really have a crime problem, so that's okay. Theft uh, is pretty dead to us. We can't actually build this stuff. Does it enable banditry for military? Fine. Let's just go. Let's just like bang out the cheap stuff and then we'll take a look again. You. Yeah, fine. Boost the culture. You find a place. Great. Yeah, give me a stone tools workshop there. Cool. All right. I think we shall have some peace in our time. All right, we've picked up some drying. Food is not to eat, not to frame, is to eat, not to frame and hang on the wall. Says you, but now we've got dried fish maker. Do you need 
fish? Yeah, raw fish. We don't have any fish, I think, right now. Uh, we can do this. Raw meat, I'm pretty sure. Well, do we have it? Slaughterhouse, maybe? The drying frame. Food and... Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Food and hammers. A smokehouse as well. There's some dried meat. I already have dried meat, apparently. Not sure how that works. Alright, for some reason it's just kind of clicking through when uh, I discover a tech. So, we got games. We can now do... Capture the flag. Actually, new hunters receiving experience points is pretty cool. We can't make criminals... I think only in Beijing. That's fine. A little bit of hopscotch for some education. Some hot potato. Some juggling jump rope and playing fields. Cool. Um, fine. You know. I'm okay with that. We're heading towards Petroglyphs next. And uh, same thing again. So we got Petroglyphs. <coughs> cool. Nanothal Caves give a little bonus. I don't think we even have that. We can make less uh, paints. Right, isn't this uh, the cave in France with the oldest cave paintings known to man? Is that, uh, is that true? I don't know what the plus four or whatever actually means. Hmm. Anyways, we're not going to build the likely cave paintings, sand paintings, and yeah, Laco Caves. So we make the paints, then you just get the caves. Paints, get caves. Fine, heading towards conduct next. Oh, quite annoyingly, the Neanderthals have been uh, smashing up all of our trails over here. Um, and they even attacked us. They attacked our capital. Which is a pretty bold move. They were soundly defeated. I guess I only had three units in here because I moved one guy, a couple guys out to protect us over there. A uh, little bit, a little bit <laughs> risky, but uh, they are now gone, huh? They have been instructed to leave, and so they have. Um, right, plus eight food. That's so stupid. A hundred percent. Yeah, kill that guy. Ah, oh, they destroyed the trail connecting things. Actually, that's a bit annoying. We still have a connection to Beijing, I wonder. I mean, it might. Uh, we'll see next turn. Yeah, looks like it. <laughs> Isn't tight to, to me. Yeah, they're just smashing up this stuff. I don't really care about the trails, honestly. So, you know, good for them. They, they can do that. It's rather challenging to stop them. And we got Conduct. Right? Enforcers and Neanderthal Enforcers. Upgrade of a unit that we already have. We can also make a bunch of stuff that helps with crime. But if we have crime over 50, we're going to have some uh, local fighting. People are just going to start fighting now because of conduct. Now that we know that conduct is a thing, that people should conduct themselves, we don't have crime over 50. You do, which means you're going to get crime. And I'm actually kind of tempted. You cannot build an enforcer. Um, what do you need to make to build? I guess a certain building. Sentry posts? Lookout post? Probably. Uh, maybe in Beijing. I can see. Uh, no, I want this for sure. Um, crime building. Lookout post. Because you can make Neanderthal watchers, which seems pretty good. And I wouldn't mind getting the crime down a little bit here as well. Sure, let's go ahead and do that. Washington DC proceeds building all these buildings, right? Almost done. It's got the last one lined up here. Uh... 
actually going to need... We're actually going to need to focus on gold a little bit. Because we are bleeding cash right now. Bunch of spiked clubbing, huh? There's actually quite a few troops over here. I'm going to move them back. Yeah, destroy all my trails, folks. That's fine. Lookout post almost done. Is it... No, one more turn. I don't want you. Um, I guess it's going to be fine. But y'all stay here. You can finish that lookout post and then that should help with that. Bone worker is done. We're actually completely done with stuff here. Let's go back to our buildings. Let's make some stuff that gives us money, please. Even at 50%, I'm still at minus four. That is impressive. Poison Crafter is no longer functioning. Housing Bone Huts is no longer functioning. Regain access to Bone Huts. Did I just like upgrade my housing? Probably. The bone hunts are disabled because now I have grass huts? Why are they disabled? Well, fine. Hey, eh, whatever. Ah, uh, yeah. Definitely take that fight. I don't think y'all are going to attack me. I was wrong. And uh, we crushed them. We crushed them all. <laughs> Just beautiful. Thanks for the experience. Uh, which reminds me... Let's put a watcher on the top. something wow yeah how is that not the number one thing to make I'm actually looking for that which gives me a bonus to hunting but yeah you should probably get the stone tools workshop first city defense a military advantage North American promotion. I can give you North American culture? Because you don't have it. Only the other city does. Let's get the poison tips. Hunting instruction. Then... Three trackers. There we go. Shit. I screwed that up. <laughs> okay, military units. One, two, three. Buildings. Military advantage. One, two, no. Um, but it was... Was there a third? Kind of thought, but I guess not, right? I mean... Those were the three. That gives military advantage. The folklore of metal. 
Um, and then the stone tools. There we go. That's what I want. Eventually, you're going to make me a bunch of Neanderthal trackers, but until then, we're going to just chill, and now we can kind of hang back. All right, we're about to pick up naturopathy. And there you go. I'm <laughs> sure. What does this give us? So we can make healers. These are units that you can just use. I mean, I think they help heal units. Yeah, okay, good to send with the military. Um, but you can also reduce disease in the location where they are staying. Same thing with a healer's hut. Healing clay. Kava plantation to build resource drugs. Plus five. Wow, if we, did, if we had kava. Um, leech catcher. People aren't happy about it, but it does make them healthier. Some more diseases available. Drugs, self-heal, and disease control promotions. Okay, that's cool. Um, and now we're going to go into theft. And from there, then we're going to really take a look and see what's going on. I'm not sure if you can hear that. His adaptability, his capacity to adjust himself to changing conditions. But which would have meant swift and terrible death. It marked further the decay or going to pieces of Because I can barely hear it. <laughs> it's even lower for you, I'm pretty sure. Well, we got our first military thing. We can go into banditry. We are a militia. Civilians independently take up arms in the eventuality of a conflict. Military units produced with food currently. We gain 50% experience from combat outside of our borders. A little bit less money everywhere. Um, we spend a little bit of money from maintenance costs from cities. This would cost us quite a bit more to switch to banditry. New units do receive experience points. We also save quite a bit of money from military upkeep, quite a bit of money. We do lose science and culture and gold everywhere. But we have faster construction of other things and we also just gain like, I don't think we're gonna go into banditry. Save ourselves for tribal warfare? I don't think this is the way. I never really got how to do uh, trade on freshwater coast and on rivers. I do like that. Teepees and yurts. I mean, I think we want to see the big picture. I mean, we can, for example, go into hunting and have actual hunters with Neanderthal hunters. Oof, five strength hunters. They can pretty much do whatever they want. Uh, tribalism is pretty good, I think. Let's you found a new city. Holy crap. Uh, tribalism seems pretty good. Tribalism seems really good. I mean, you're also getting into equine domestication. We have horses. Animal Radin. And then we're almost at sedentary lifestyle over here. Uh, animism? Isn't this unlock a... A religion? I guess it would say it. Barter... All kinds of, uh, we just get more stuff from our camps. Unlocking merchants. I mean, barter seems pretty good. 1% more uh, monies. Stone building. Stone huts, if we have stone. I don't know if we actually do. Uh, ceremonial burial is just a bunch of burial tradition options. Spear point. I don't think we have mammoths. Stells. Let's go for tribalism. Into hunting. Building more cities. Probably good. Probably pretty damn good. Uh, but actually, I think we're going to put a cut in here. 
Um, making progress, building up our stuff. We almost got our first Neanderthal tracker, which is pretty cool. And that's strength four. Also with like a bunch of promotions and stuff he's going to come out with and poison tips and all this stuff. Um, I think I'm going to, they're not just going to get murdered by the first Neanderthal that, that sees them. I hope. But we'll find out next time. Until then, my name is Man the Maker. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day.